Hello everyone and welcome once again to my channel. My name is Rahmat. It's always a pleasure coming your way. Uh, I want to talk about the Chinese situation with our African brothers and sisters. Okay, I'm just going to give you a recap of what has been happening. The issue is that sometime last week or some few days ago, China kicked out our African brothers from their own homes. Homes that they have rented and paid for. They were kicked out. And those of them who were living in hotels had been kicked out. They are not allowed to stay in any hotel. They are not allowed to board any public transport. They are not allowed to enter any public place to get food. They were kicked out and they were sleeping on the streets of China. And the reason is that now all the new cases that they are getting, the new coronavirus cases that China is recording are supposedly from Africa. But when coronavirus was still in China, the world allowed people from China to travel to other countries. And they infected us. They infected us and we didn't do anything to China. But now that it has been stabilized in their country, they are saying that because coronavirus has now arrived in Africa, Africans can spread coronavirus again in China. So they are kicking them out of their homes. People who have lived in China for so many years and haven't traveled anywhere have been kicked out of their homes with their families. And they are now sleeping on the streets of China. And while this was happening, China was busy delivering PPEs to African countries. At the same time, China was deploying doctors to go help out in Nigeria. While they were mistreating our African brothers and sisters this way, our diplomats have been uh, very effective. Some of them have come out to speak and to fight for their people. And others, like uh, those ones we have in Ghana, they ha we haven't heard so much from them. But China came out after all these accusations. China came out to explain that it was a miscommunication somewhere and that they were not ordered out of their homes and that they would take steps to rectify the situation. After we thought that everything had been patched up and people would begin enjoying some freedom. In fact, we even saw videos of the Chinese government delivering gifts to our African brothers in consolation for what they had put them through. And we thought that was the end of it. But this video I am about to show you came out yesterday. Watch it. ...to this issue by saying that Guangzhou treats all foreigners equally. For more of this, now let's take a listen. We treat all people equally, oppose any differentiated practices, and have zero tolerance for discriminatory words and actions. <laughs> Living in Guangzhou since 2007, is now under quarantine in his own home. This is my fourth day in quarantine. If you want to buy some food or daily necessities, how will you do that? We order online and then um, the community here, they have uh, the management, they have arranged someone, just inform them that uh, whatever I want to buy and then they'll just go pick it from downstairs and bring it upstairs. Mm -hmm. And uh, also they would come in to collect my trash. Many people live in together in one flat, so you're right about that. And so they were put in a situation where their instructions, were, which were interpreted as eviction, which were really about social distancing, because they wanted people to live individually and or 
the right number of people in each flat. So you don't have too much crowding because you cannot deal with social distancing and you can't deal with the spread of COVID-19 when there's too many people living in one space. Because they wanted to... yesterday our black friends they were all kicked out from their own apartments and communities because this mother knocked on their doors telling them that we have a few cases from nigeria you know so now they're just assuming that all these black people they might be in touch with uh the, the infected cases and all of a sudden they're just kicking everyone out and as long as they see you black they see you black you african okay they see you black and you're african you so all of a sudden they're just kicking everyone out and they have nowhere else to go because the hotels wouldn't take them as well and all of a sudden they're just homeless they're just homeless and yesterday there was this distribution i was there i was helping them and these don't up again and trying to stop us trying to so they were asking me um where i was from i said i'm chinese and they were just like oh you're chinese like why, why are you on their side you should be on our side this and that you should pick a side this and that i'm just like we are in this together okay we're this together and and if you want to put them in quarantine whatever you give them food and water that to sleep okay you just when some people are trying to help you just came and trying you are trying to stop us and i'm just like 大家好今天想跟大家说一下我们现在面临的另外一种病毒就是歧视我们知道在疫情刚刚爆发的时候全世界各地一些无良媒体以及不明真相的群众开始无端的指责以及谴责中国 当时中国是盛行了一个反对种族歧视的时期，但是到了现在，呃，中国疫情基本控制住的时候，很多疫情都是新增疫情都是，呃，境外输入病例，所以现在全国又在盛行另外一种，另外一种种族歧视。我很多